Hey, hey, everybody, this is Larry. This is me doing an extra poem on February 21st of, um, well, 2024, whatever this year is. Uh, let's do it. Let's, let's, uh, let's find one we've done yet, and I'll go, and let's RNG it. Um, hopefully the mic quality is a little bit better. My apologies if, uh, I don't know, last couple, I, I didn't realize that the mic just kind of died by itself. I guess, you know, like all old things, uh, it, it happens. But, uh, but yeah. Let's take a look at today's poem, uh, today's fun extra poem, 939, minimum area rectangle. Uh, let me know in the comments, by the way, if the sound is still having some issues. Um, I'm still tuning it a little bit, um, but I mean, I, I I played around with it. And before this recording, I played around with it and it seemed okay. But if it's running into issues again, definitely let me know. Uh, my apologies again, because, you know, I mean, yeah, I'm not here trying to <laughs> trying to hide this content from you. But, you know, technical difficulties do happen. So let's go. Uh, all right. So you're giving it away. You're, you have a lot of points. We turn the minimum area of a rectangle. Just, okay. So the sides have to be parallel to X, Y, which is the biggest part. Otherwise, you have some kind of like, you know, if it's not a access a line, you have like weird rectangles, which is actually a really hard problem. At least hard for me. Uh, might not be, you know. But yeah. Okay. So basically, you want the minimum area of a rectangle that you can fit here. Okay, and here basically the idea of a rectangle is um, two points sharing an X and then two points sharing a Y, right? Something like this, and you know, or pairing them up. Okay, hmm. How do I want to think about it? So the points are five hundred, so that means that uh, we probably shouldn't do more than n square log n or something like that. I would say. Um, but um hmm well i think n square is probably hmm <sighs> i mean okay i'm trying to think about different ways of um iterating it right and the thing is that because this acts as a line the thing that we can say is that um, is that you know we can pick one line, one vertical or horizontal. I guess it doesn't really matter. Or like you know, for symmetry reasons, it doesn't matter. Um, and then you know you can iterate each pair, and then maybe f see if you can find another pair that has the same uh, on a different line, right? How would that look? So that would create, um, I'm trying to think what's the cleanest way around that is. Like we can definitely do a lot of lookups, but I'm just trying to think whether we have to. I mean, okay, I mean, uh, let's just kind of start doing it and then we'll worry about um, we'll worry about issues later, right? Like, I think the, I think it's fast enough, but I could be wrong, so we'll see. So basically, the idea is that, okay, n is equal length of number of points, okay? And then now we want to... Um, Let's just group them together. I mean, there are a couple of ways you can do this data structure, but I want to group them together by X's and then Y's, right? So something like maybe coordinates is equal to collections dot default dot dict of list. And then now you have for X, Y in coordinates, oops, or in points, and then coordinates of X dot append Y, right? Something like that. And that, that basically allow us to get, okay, for each X, you have all the Y's together, right? And then now uh, maybe for X in coordinates, dot keys we want to just sort them just you know just to be uh just to make sure our data is in in clean way you could also sort them beforehand i suppose but you know it should be the same thing either way uh or like it still sums to technically i guess this is slightly faster because it's summation of the log n or whatever or su summation of k log k uh with or the summation of k is n so this is technically a little bit faster i think but uh but it's not a big deal okay um yeah 
and then now we can do and maybe we can actually just do it now right actually um maybe we can do something like look up right and look up is just a generic lazy term uh, let me actually also make this into a list and basically what we want to do is for y in coordinates of x right so now you have x and y and then you have maybe something like um oh uh, but now I'm trying to think for a sec. I think this is fast enough. It's it's very deceptive. That's why I'm. That's why this is a little bit confusing looking. Oh, give me a second to make sure that what I say is is true. Yeah, I mean I think this is true, but um, yeah. So maybe actually, m is equal to the length of. Uh, component of x right so then I'll rewrite this as for a range of m for uh, uh, mm, yeah okay fine right for j in range of i plus 1 m so basically now we're looking at all the all the uh, points right um, on the x coordinate um, and the reason why this isn't too slow even though you have this coordinate you have like x times y times y which looks like it's like 500 square but it's not really because the summation of points are on like the worst case scenario is if they're all on the same list and then it's just 500 square um so yeah i think that's basically roughly the idea but yeah for this then now you now for each pair and i'm a little bit lazy here so we'll see if i need to optimize but basically you have coordinates of i you have coordinates of j um and you want to append x, right? So that's basically the thing. But even before that, uh, x is in order, right? Oh, okay, actually, it is not. Whoops. Okay, now x is in order, right? So if x is in order, then there are a couple of things, right? So, okay, so maybe we have a best is equal to infinity because we're trying to minimize, right? Um, because this is an order, the previous point is going to be the closest, right? So actually, I mean, I made this into a list, but actually you don't even need a list because the last, if we sorted this, then we basically like did a sweep line thing and the closest is going to be the last one you see, right? So actually this doesn't need to be a list, then it's just like a regular lookup, right? So then now we can do something like, Initially, I, I didn't want to make that assumption, but I think actually maybe that's a little bit cleaner, right? So you have this is the key. So if this is in lookup, that means that lookup of this. So this will contain the last x coordinate used with this key, right? And then um, the current x minus this is going to be the height or width or whatever. <coughs> so then best is equal to min best of th this, which is the height or width, I forget. Uh, times the other coordinate, which is coordinates uh, j minus coordinates i. And that's it. Yeah, and then we set this to x instead of appending. But... Uh, whoops, did I... This is in the list, is it? Coordinates sub... Oh, whoops, this is uh, x sub i, whoops. That's why I did it that way, but then I think I got I confused myself a little bit. So, eh, yeah, maybe I should have mm, alias those things. But yeah, All right, let's give us a minute. Ooh, oh, I forgot to change the infinity case. Uh, I, I, I was thinking about it when I was writing infinity, but then I just forgot about it. So that was just silly. But uh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, okay. I mean, I, I only had some worry that it wasn't fast enough because it, this really does look a little bit yucky, to be frank. It uh, looks a little bit messy. I mean, like I said, this looks M square and like this thing. But in the worst case, uh, well, this is N log N, this is N-ish, and this is another N, so it looks a lot weird. But it's not actually N cube because, you know, for each point, 
it can only be in one of one row, right? Each point can only be in one row. So that means that if all the points are in one row, this is going to be m square. And if, uh, ignoring this m again for, and with all the points are in different rows, then this is just going to be one square, and then just m log m. So it's like in the worst case is between m log or well just m square in general or n square in general. So even though this is very messy looking, this is n square, and that's how we kind of got that into by made a silly mistake because I kind of rushed it a little bit. Um, you know, I, I kind of knew it, but then I was just like, I because when I wrote it, I was like, oh, I, I was like mental note, remember to uh, you know, there's no possible thing, but then I just forgot about it. Uh, happens a lot. I don't know, no stick, so I don't you know, I, I don't pay attention too much. Sorry about that. Anyway, uh, that's all I have for today. Let me know what you think. Let me know about uh, the mic, the sound, and everything in between. Uh, yeah, let me know what you think about this poem. It's kind of fun one, to be honest. Uh, yeah. Uh, actually, let me... Uh, I'm curious, is there like an n-square way? Oh, there is an n-square way. Oh, no, my, my way is n-square way. But I forgot. Oh, but there's an n to the one-half way. Oh, I guess this is the smarter way. I kind of did mine in a funky way. Hmm. Because then you just check to... Okay, fine. You just basically... Okay, whoops. I am pretty dumb today then. <laughs> but the way that I did is kind of cute. Um... I guess this is the way that I did it. But I don't know how you get the n to the 1 to the 5th... Uh, 1.5 power... Uh, I don't know. And I mean, I I did do it this way, and I did I do know that this is faster than the naive n square, but it is I don't know if that I would analyze it quite that way. But uh, oh well, I, I forgot that there's a naive way though, which is kind of weird. Hmm. Don't know what to say. Anyway, that's all I have for today, though. Let me know what you think, and yeah, stay good, stay healthy to good mental health. I'll see y'all later and take care. Bye-bye.